Who's crying? You're crying? Why are you crying? You crying because you want to come upstairs? You want to come in the kitchen? Splash, you want to come in the kitchen? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 7.24 a.m. And this helicopter has been flying around for at least an hour. It woke me up at like 6.23 a.m. And it's so loud and annoying. I don't know what it's doing. Today for breakfast, the cats are having homemade raw food with a few of the Nature's Variety Instinct chicken bites on top. Those are kind of like little dumplings in their stew. And then there's a few blue wilderness cat treats on there. And they're eating on ceramic plates because I put a little too much water in their food and I thought it would be better on ceramic than paper. And uh, yeah, we'll see if they eat this and we'll see how they do. Boo says he wants to eat on the step. I don't know why, but sometimes Boo likes to eat on the step instead of with the other cat. It's about 8 p.m. right now, and I'm just about to start heading home, but look at the sky. It's amazing. For dinner today, the cats are trying this Whole Earth Farms cat food. This is the real chicken recipe. It says it is grain free. This is a small three ounce can. And the ingredients in this are chicken, chicken broth, chicken liver, natural flavor. I really don't like the fact that natural flavor is the number four ingredient. Dried peas, dried egg product, yeast extract, which could be another name for MSG, so I'm always iffy about yeast extract. Organic alfalfa meal, calcium carbonate, sodium phosphate, choline chloride, and then we go into minerals and vitamins. And then there's some cinnamon, olive oil, flaxseed oil, rosemary, sage, and thyme. The cats have never had this before. I believe I picked this up at Petco. So they are going to try this for dinner. Boo is all ready. Boo watches me, watch. Okay, ready? I'm gonna open the can. Look how intense Boo watches me as I open the can. This is what the food looks like. It looks like a pate and it seems kind of dry and I just checked the date on this can and it says Best Buy October of 2019, which is about two months away. So and this is what it looks like after I put it in a bowl and added some water to it. And now I'm gonna split this four ways among the cats. I do have another can for them because this is a very small can. Boo, you like food from a can? You like to eat food from a can? The cats are each getting a small portion to try. Sim is purring. And Splash did what he always does. He smells it and then he walks away. So far everyone's eating it. It smelled like roasted chicken. Looks like everyone enjoyed their food and Boo is now licking the plates clean.
Stella still wants more food and Simma still wants more food, so I am going to open another can. The next can we are going to try is the Whole Earth Farms chicken and turkey recipe. The ingredients in this one are very similar. They're chicken, chicken broth, turkey, turkey liver. Natural flavor is number five. Dried peas, dried egg product, yeast extract, and everything else is pretty much the same. So let's see if the cats like this one. And the inside of this one looks the same as the inside of the other one. This is what it looks like when I first dump it out into a bowl. It's definitely a drier pate. So I'm gonna add some water to it. And here it is after I added the water to it. I'm wondering if I'm smelling the natural flavors because it really smells like rotisserie chicken. If you've ever gone to like Boston Market or Costco or somewhere that sells rotisserie chicken, that's exactly what both of these smell like. Hello, boo, are you waiting for your food? You're still hungry, you want more food? Okay, everyone's gonna eat their food. Splash, are you gonna eat your food? You still have both, both flavors on your plate. You're not gonna eat your food, Splash? All right, I gotta pick it up and give it to you later, okay? I gave Splash the food on the rug. Is he gonna eat it? He should eat it. He should like it. I don't know which one is the chicken and which one is the chicken and turkey. I mean, they're both basically the same, except one just has some turkey in it. Oh no. Boo's coming to look. Boo! Boo, you had your food. This is what the cats did to their plates. They finished everything. Good job, guys. They really like the food. But, you know, with all that uh, yeast extract and natural flavors, those are pretty much both just flavor enhancers, so I don't know if I'd buy this for them again. I think there's better choices out there. A few pieces fell on the floor when I was moving Splash's plate over to him, so I just told Boo to, to clean the floor. And he did. And there we have it. All four plates have been cleaned off. The cats really enjoyed the food. It's 9.15 p.m. Hydrox just ate half a can of cat food. And I'm going to give him the other half of the can because he's still hungry. It looks like there was just a possum in the feeder that ran away. Okay, Hydrox, I'm going to give you food, okay? And there he goes. He went straight for the food. And he should eat that entire thing, and that'll be a full can. 5.5 ounces of food with additional water mixed in, and I also gave him some herbs. It's 9.52 p.m. I'm sitting at the table with Stella, and I just heard Hydrox meowing. What's going on, boo? Maybe he wants more food. I just gave Hydrox a three ounce can of the Whole Earth Farms chicken and turkey pate. Hopefully he'll eat it. So he's getting the same thing the other cat's got. Eat your food Hydrox, you'll like it. Now I did not add any additional water to it, I just took it outside and put it on his plate. I mashed it up a little bit with a spoon, but I just gave it to him as it was. Hey, all right, everybody sit down. I have a tasty stick. Sit down. Everybody be nice and sit down. Be nice and sit down. Sit. Can I get Stella and Boo to eat the tasty stick at the same time? 
Okay, here you go. Oh, no, they broke it. Okay, you have one and you have one. And there's Simba. And Splash is here. And they said, where's their tasty stick? Who's crying? You're crying? Why are you crying? You crying because you want to come upstairs? You want to come in the kitchen? Splash, you want to come in the kitchen? So here's what happened. All of the cats got half of a tasty stick, but Splash did not eat his. So I tried to give it to him in the living room, but then he ran downstairs. So I left it here on the landing and I shut the door. So that way he could come up and eat it and the other cats would not steal it from him. And uh, so then after a while I heard him meowing and it's because he wants to come upstairs. Hey, Splashy. And now Stella is being very motherly protective of him. Come on, Splash, you could come up. You could come up. It's 9 a.m. Good morning, Boo. Boo is sleeping on the cat tower, and I gave him some pets, and then he jumped off and ran into the living room because he thinks he's getting crunchies. We're not getting any, Boo. Good morning, Stella. Stella's been watching birds. Good morning, Simba. Simba's been sleeping on top of the couch cushion. It's 11.46 a.m. and I put some ice cubes in the big water bowl and Boo does not know what they are. He's like checking them out. Simba was checking them out immediately. And now Boo's looking at them like, what are they? What is that, Boo? What's in there? What's in there, Boo? It's 2.40 p.m. Boo's been laying here in the sun by the back door. Here's Simba. Simba has been laying on top of the cat tower pretty much all morning. Well, from... Um, I don't know about noon. We had a really late morning. I had to run some errands this morning and I had to do them by a certain time and the cats got crunchies first thing in the morning just as a little snack to tide them over because I knew that I could not give them breakfast until they got back. So they actually had more like a brunch today. They had a late breakfast and Simba Simba's been sleeping on the cat tower since after he ate. And there's a live stream going on right now, so everyone's watching Simba sleep. And here's Splash. Splash is sleeping on top of the ottoman downstairs. Look how he's sleeping. With his paws crossed on his hind legs. And here's Stella. Stella's sleeping in one of the round beds. She's using the edge of the bed as a pillow. It's about 5.50 p.m. right now, and look at this. This is Hijox hanging out on a patio chair. I am so close to him right now. I could literally just reach down and touch him, but for some reason he does not get freaked out. I guess he thinks that nobody sees him, but Obviously, I see the back of him. And I looked at this cushion the other day when he was not sitting on it. This cushion has so many stains on it. So this has become Hydrox's chair. And there's a clip holding the uh, tablecloth on the table. Because when it was really windy the other day, it was like blowing all over the place. So I put some clips on it. Hello, Hydrox. You sleeping? Yeah, Hydrox is getting some good rest. Let me show you what's going on here. See that long thing growing on this vine, which is kind of taken over this tree? That's a kakuza squash or a gugutz. And um, this is the first year I've grown those. 
I had no idea how they were gonna grow. I thought they were gonna grow like zucchinis, but it's like a Jack and the Beanstalk vine that has just taken over everything. Like, it's everywhere. And here's another one that is pretty much ready to be picked. It's about three feet long, almost the size of a baseball bat, and uh, yeah, they're really good. They taste similar to a zucchini. Oh no, look at this, I just saw this in my lawn. I hope this is not like a mouse hole. It is 8.17 p.m. We just ended today's live stream. And I want to give a shout out to Crypto Mikey Michigan, who donated $4.99 through Super Chat. Thank you so much, Crypto Mikey. I want to give a shout out to Paul Carey, who donated $50. He says, greetings from Twitch. Can't stay long as work beckons. Thank you so much, Paul, for that very generous donation. I want to give a shout out to Derfo20, who donated $10 through Super Chat. Thank you so much, Durfo. I want to give a shout out to LEJ11, who donated 19 pounds 99 through Super Chat. Thank you so much, LEJ. I want to give a shout out to Tracy Yoshida, who donated $5 through Super Chat. She says, happy Catterday, boo. Happy Catterday, Tracy. I want to give a shout out to LEJ11, who donated £1.99 through Super Chat. Thank you so much, Ellie. And I want to give a shout out to Clyde S., who donated $20 through Super Chat. Thank you so much, Clyde. I want to thank you guys so much for your generous support. It's 10, 12 p.m. I just came upstairs and the hijacks was curled up in the corner near the door. I have to give him some dinner. Okay, hijacks. But where are you coming from? Here you go, Hydrox. I'm giving you a whole bunch of food here. Come on, you like this. Trader Joe's. Oh, sorry. There's the turkey and giblets. Sorry, it splashed. I gave him three quarters of the can of the food. I mixed in a little bit of water. And today's like the first cool night in quite a while. Today was pretty cool outside also. It was just about 70 degrees. And there's, there's Hydrox. He just went over to eat it. He should eat that. It's about 10.30 p.m. and I walked into the living room and all the cats just started staring at me so that means they want crunchies they're ready i'm gonna give them what's left of the can of food that i give hijox <laughs> they're so ready it's 9 a.m boo's in his room scratching his litter box so i think he's using it and this is what's going on in the hallway Splash is stalking him. There's Boo. It's 
So Boo is trying to very slowly leave his room and Splash just attacked him. He just, you know, swatted at him. What's going on, Boo? What's going on? Why is Splash being mean to you? Did you do something to him? Boo, did you do something to Splash? Why is he being mean to you right now? Huh? Simba says, what's going on? Everybody be cool. Chill out. Look out the window. Watch some birds. Right, Simba? You watching birds? Yeah, you're watching birds. I know. You're a good boy. Good boy, Simba. Boo, that's okay. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Splashy is mean sometimes. We know that. Splashy could be mean. You know why? Because he takes after Stella sometimes. You know, Stella could be a little bit mean sometimes. And Splash takes after Stella like that. And you know, Simba, Simba takes after you. Because you're more of a happy-go-lucky guy, right? Right, Boo? You're more of a happy-go-lucky cat. And Simba's a happy-go-lucky cat, right? It's okay. That's okay. It's 9.30 a.m. And I was just walking downstairs when I saw this. So this is my little rebounder. It's the trampoline that Splash always used to like to hide under. And I have this fluffy rug on top. Like this rug is an absolute perfect fit. So I keep it out now and the cats like to lay on top of it. They think it's like a giant cat bed. And there's actually a wand toy that I play with. Sometimes I put it under the rug and Stella likes to attack it. So there's a wand toy sticking out from under that round rug. But look at this. Stella and Splash are hanging out on it. I have to go downstairs and walk past them and Splash is probably going to move, but that's so funny. He's such a mama's boy. And then it makes me realize that maybe the reason why Splash went after Boo this morning is because maybe Stella and Boo got into a little fight and Splash was defending his mother. It's funny how these cats defend each other. And I know yesterday Stella and Boo got in a little swatting fight, so maybe Splash was going to, you know, avenge that fight. I just gave Hydrox a three ounce can of the wholehearted cat food. This is the chicken food. I added some water and some herbs. And there's Hydrox hanging out in his little hotel room. On the patio chair, he has a nice view from here. You can see a lot of things. So yesterday I found what looked like a mouse hole in the lawn. I've never seen any rodent holes in my yard for as long as I've lived here. So it's the first time I've seen something like that. And people told me to put a rock over it. Um, it could just be like a rare thing, but it could be all, but it could also be why Ditto has been hanging out in this area and, you know, Hydrax has been keeping an eye on this area. It's always good to have cats in the yard for those purposes, but I did put a rock on it just in case, and hopefully we will not see any more rodent holes or anything that looks like a rodent hole showing up. I just harvested the big kukutsa squash. Are the cats afraid of it? Boo ran away from it, but Stella and Simba, they just want to smell it. How are you, Boo? Boo's laying in the sun by the back door with his girlfriend. Right, Boo? There's Stella. Stella loves laying on this fake grass rug. I wasn't sure if the cats were going to like it or not, so I only bought one of them. But now I'm thinking I should have bought several of them. Right, Stella? Maybe I'll go back and get some more. Right? Stella is very happy to be laying on the back door. There's Catnip Beach. 
I didn't even have time to set it up for them today. It's 10.30 p.m. Good night, boo. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.